false head. This is the case study of Virginia Bishop. Again, Virginia was diagnosed with MS and Parkinson's um, a couple of years ago. She's been living at our senior campus in our assisted living um, apartments for about four months. Um, we've been doing training in the HydroWorks 1200 pool for approximately two and a half months. When we first initially started, um, it was very hard for Virginia to get up and out of the, the chair um, and stabilize herself on the railings. Um, we couldn't get her in the water fast enough, um, but as you could just see from the, from the walking in, um, she's able to extend her knees, her hips a, a lot easier. Um, the walking has greatly improved. And um, it, it doesn't matter how long we stand with the railings. Um, we're able to, to have increased our strength in the hips and knees. What we normally start with, with Virginia, is um, some hip mobility, um, increasing her, her flexibility, getting the blood flowing in the lower extremities. So we normally start with marching in place, and we're always concentrating on posture. So we really want to strengthen those core muscles. So we really emphasize keeping the hips underneath, shoulders back, chest out. And Virginia has really improved in this area. From being in the wheelchair, she was um, flex forward quite a bit, and now we're able to, to stand much more upright in a sitting and standing position. And after we've done some hip flexion work, we go with the hip abduction out to the side and we alternate the legs on those. And the water helps bring the leg up and it's where we're pulling through the inner thigh on the way down. We're re increasing the strength in the hip adductors. Another point of emphasis that we're working on is not gripping the railings real tight. So no matter what exercise we're doing, we're concentrating on increasing core strength, stability, working on the balance aspect. We'll go one more. Perfect. Okay. And then let's let the leg dangle at the side. We're going to make small circles close to the floor. Another great aspect of the HydroWorks pool is with the camera up in front, Virginia is able to see exactly what her legs, her feet are doing in the exercise by looking straight ahead. It will reverse directions, opposite way. We'll switch legs. With Virginia's MS, she has a tendency to lean to her left, which is the side most affected. And by looking into the, the camera straight ahead, she's able to try to position her body so she's more upright and, and we don't have that tendency to lean to the left anymore. We'll switch directions. Next thing we do is work on hip extension. So again, we're gonna stay tall, hips underneath, keeping the leg extended, we're gonna push it back and let it come forward. Pushing back. One of the things I noticed with Virginia is when we're walking, it's not so much the, the stepping forward, um, we're able to take big steps forward, it's the, the drive back that we're not getting a lot of. So lately we've been working on a lot of hip extension. Staying tall, hitting that natural stopping point in the back. And from here we work on helping Virginia get up and out of the chair, increasing, increasing her leg strength, her quad strength. So we raise up floor a little bit 
and then keeping the heels on the floor. We're going to sit back in that chair, extend up. Okay, we'll lower the floor back down. Now you used to tell me I'm doing an excellent dripping and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and he's not said a thing. He's very quiet. <laughs> we're, we're doing very well. And then we'll start the floor. And after we have the, the lower extremities warmed up, a little bit of blood flow through the legs, through the feet, then we start the walking. And to start with, just to get the feel of the water, we start by holding onto the railings. We'll turn the jets on a little bit of a percent just to get a little water flow. Again, working on that core stability, the core strength. And with the walking, again, a big point of emphasis has been the strides. So we're, we're concentrating on taking the big step forward leaning with the heel and ending up on the toes and back. And once we get used to the feel of the water, keeping the hands close to the railing, we will let the hands off. And getting that sp the spatial awareness, um, working the proprioceptive muscles, we concentrate on walking right down the center of the belt which Virginia is doing a very good job of. And we're... At the start, I just took my hands off a little bit and had to put it back on. Right, when we first... And go ahead and walk a little bit faster than the belt. When we first initially started this, um, it was very difficult for Virginia to, to do any type of balance, whether the belt was moving, or, or staying still. And again, with the MS um, affecting mostly the left, most of the balance is with her going to the left side. So right now, Virginia is walking at about one mile per hour with about 15% of resistive force with the jets um, trying to push her back. It used to be that I had to stop. Now he tells me to stop. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and stop there. That was forever. Mm -hmm. And another thing that we just started doing to work on the hip extension has been the back pedaling. So Virginia, let's go ahead and let's turn around. So you're gonna be facing this direction. And again, working with the posture and the core stability, we still wanna stay tall, keep the hips underneath. And now we're driving that leg back, ending up on the toes. And the great part about what we've been doing in the pool with Virginia is she's been able to transfer a lot of what we've been doing in the water to land. So all the, the flexibility in, increase that we've seen, all the strength increase, um, the range of motion, has all been incorporated to what she's been doing in her, in her lifestyle. Big step back, let those toes touch. Big step, toes. And with the back pedaling, not only are we working the hip extensors, but we're also, again, getting her a sense of independence, a little bit of the spatial awareness. Even though she's not doing a lot of backwards walking around campus, it's just a different way of training that she hasn't done 
in many, many years. Okay, I'm going to stop the belt there, Virginia. Okay, we'll turn back to the front. Okay, next thing we'll do is work on Virginia's balance and stability. So the first thing that we do is we will turn the jets on to a little bit greater percent. And we'll start with both feet on the floor and we'll go without the railings. So go ahead and let go. And we start with both legs just so Virginia gets used to the jets and the current of the water. And then from here we'll transfer to single leg. Okay, let's switch to right leg only. Just by being in the, in the warm HydroWorks pool, we've seen some increase in flexibility in areas that we haven't directly trained. Virginia has been able to, to put her coat on much easier. Um, so we've seen an increase in shoulder flexibility without directly training the shoulders. We've been mainly concentrating on the lower extremities. Okay, let's go and let's switch to the left leg. Same thing, pinpointing something straight ahead. As you can see, we have quite a bit of flexion in the knee, which while we're doing these single leg stands adds a little bit more stability to Virginia, but at the same time, we're still strengthening a lot of muscles um, in the legs, such as, such as the quads, the hips, getting a little calf Okay, from here, we'll go into some sidestepping. Again, work in the hip abductors. So Virginia, you can go ahead and face me this way. We'll grab a hold of the railing. And we'll take that big step with the right leg and feet together once we start the belt. So taking that big step, foot's gonna come down, feet together. Foot down, feet together. So as we take that big step, that foot's going to make contact with the belt. Big step, feet together. This is a great exercise to work the hip abductors. And again, working on Virginia's independence, spatial awareness. And we'll do about 10 steps, leading with the right, and then we'll Go over to the other railing and do about 10 or so with the left. Okay, we'll stop the belt. And we'll go over to the other railing and now you're going to be leading with the left. So taking that big step with the left, feet together. And even during these side steps, the back pedaling, we still are concentrating on keeping the hips underneath, staying tall, pulling the shoulders back. And there's about 10 of those, so we'll go ahead and stop the belt. In Virginia, you can square up again so you can face the front. And one thing we just started doing recently to increase her hip flexion, flexibility, and also her core strength, especially the lower abdominals, is Virginia would like to let her legs kind of go up to the top of the, the pool level. And with this being a comfortable position for her, we would have her do a bicycle crunch where she would bring her knees towards her and extend back out. And with this, we really want to concentrate on letting the tension out of the neck and the shoulders. So, relaxing through the upper body. Go ahead and stop.
Virginia would get very fatigued um, fairly quickly. Um, she would take some, some walks prior to our training on land um, with her walker, but it wouldn't be for any great distance. And when we first started, our sessions um, would, would vary from about 10 to 15 minutes of training um, with a couple breaks in between. And when we would finish up, when you would go back, to, when Virginia would go back to her apartment, um, she was very tired. Um, and since our training for about two and a half months, we're able to go for 20, 25, 30 minutes of sustained exercise in the pool. And when, you, when she goes back to her to her room, she's not nearly as fatigued. Um, recently, you've been able to keep a fairly um, normal sleep pattern. So we're able to stay up a little bit longer um, and not sleep in as late. So from an energy standpoint, you know, the Hydra Works pool has been fantastic. Those things outside of, you know, the specific bodily things, but just from a, a fatigue standpoint, um, energy standpoint, um, perception <laughs> of how you feel. I try to tell others about it and encourage them to come to Walnut Ridge. And, and one person did, has come already. And I would, there are other people that I know have symptoms that could be helped so much if they could only have access to the pool as I have had. And I, I just want to encourage everyone to, to uh, use the Hydro Works pool because it could be wonders for them like it has done 